Namaste everybody, welcome to another episode of Beto Eats. Today we will be making a very popular, very traditional Mexican dish. And for all of you who are vegetarian, this is a vegetarian dish so even you can enjoy as well. Today me and my mom are making enchilada. Super popular. If you ask any Mexican, they will know exactly what enchiladas are. We are not only going to share with you my mom's recipe, but we are also going to show you how it's made. So come along, it will be a very delicious ride. Chalo! All right, everybody. So, so far what you see here is a bunch of different chiles that my mom has put to soak in water for many hours. You would maybe want to do this for three, to two hours. You soak these chiles. The specific chiles are called chile ancho and chile cuerudo. You can find these in any Mexican market. You can also order them online. They are dried chiles. And what she has gone and done, she has taken out the seeds from these and let them soak in water for the two to three hours. Now she's about to blend them. As you can see, they're very soft. And the water, she is gonna use a bit of it to make sure it blends very nicely. The next thing is, this is the Nor seasoning. It's very popular in Mexican restaurants and Mexican stores. You can even use salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic salt if you don't have that on hand. Now, as you can see, she's blending it and makes this beautiful, almost curry-like sauce. It's amazing. It will make your kitchen smell so beautiful, so wonderful. It's just some chiles and some seasonings. Amazing. Now on to the fillings of the enchiladas. The one that you see here, this is onion and a mixture of cheese. We are using queso fresco, which is a very traditional cheese in Mexico. The next one that she is making is the filling with the alu or the potato and she has decided to add some cheese onto this so not only will you get the potato or the alu flavor but you will also get a rich cheese taste to it. The fillings are ready. We do have the mole sauce ready as you can see here. We are heating up some olive oil to go along with this because we will be frying our tortillas for this as you see we are starting with the cheese and the onion filling so those are ready here we have also gone ahead and preheated some of these tortillas so those are ready to go you can just buy these at your local stores and heat them up slightly you don't want to heat them all the way as you will be frying them as you see here you're going to take one tortilla these are corn tortillas dump them into your mole sauce and then fry them slightly not a lot maybe just one to two minutes take them out put them on a plate to the side and we are going to go ahead and fill those with our filling like i mentioned the smell in your kitchen is going to be unbelievable it is going to be so delicious it's going to be hard to not just start eating them right then and there so my mom is going to go ahead and prepare multiple of these tortillas just getting them ready because the next step is my favorite step which is adding all the fillings we are going to start putting the cheese fillings into these as you will see my mom doing right about now while these are hot, you are going to want to open them, put a little bit of that cheese and onion filling and just wrap them up exactly how my mom is doing it. She is an expert. She is a pro. Of course, I bet your mom is an expert and pro with the dishes that she's been making all her life. This is one of my mom's signature dishes. It's so delicious, so amazing. I highly recommend for everybody. So she has finished some of the onion and cheese ones. Now it's time for the alu and the cheese ones. These ones for sure are my favorite. If you are an alu fan, just like I am, you will definitely enjoy these. It is the same process. While the tortilla is hot, you still want to do this. It does melt the cheese slightly. And of course, you do have your boiled potato in there. No added seasonings to it. Of course, you can definitely add some salt and some pepper into these. But just adding the cheese itself gives it so much rich flavor. And like always, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe to the channel. Also, like and comment if you haven't already. Thank you so much for doing that. But now let's get to the eating. Thank you so much, mom. Me and my dad are going to enjoy it. All right, we are ready to try some enchiladas. As you saw, my mom just made these for us. She made two different types of enchiladas, which are the cheese enchiladas, 
and the potato or alu enchilada. Mm. Dad, are you hungry? Oh, I'm hungry. He's, yeah, he's actually on his lunch break, mm. so he's gotta eat and go back to work. So let's do this, Dad. Tengo muchísimo okay. hambre. Dad, what is enchiladas? ¿Qué son enchiladas? Oh, enchiladas es un platillo tradicional mexicano. Very traditional. Delicioso. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys, si ustedes lo prueban, oh, oh, oh con All hambre. Right. Oh, my yeah. God. It's pretty much a tortilla and you put some mole on it, which is a special sauce made out of many different spices and chiles. That's what the red part is. And inside, you stuff it with cheese, alu. If you actually want to add some meat to that, you can also add some meat to that. But today, these are vegetarian. Oh, that's yes. good. All right, so what we have here, I can preparar las. So my dad is going to start putting all of the different things here onto them because you can add things on top of them, all the toppings. Dad, how do you like them? Okay. Then Maybe then some, then some cheese? Some cheese. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of lettuce on mine. Just a little bit of it on top. My dad's putting some yeah, cheese on I'll his. Put there you go. All right. And then pongo la cosa verde. Beautiful. Just a little splash of the cheese on mm. top. It's gonna be super delicious. My dad is putting some of the lettuce as well on his. And we have two different types of salsas. These are kind of like chutneys, a little bit more spicy. We have the tomato salsa and we have the salsa verde right here. Mucho sabor a las yeah. It gives it a lot of extra flavor. It actually doesn't need it, but it, it is nice to have if you'd like it. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and this put... Algo delicioso. I'm gonna go ahead and put some verde some green one, a little bit, mm -hmm. and maybe on, on these, I'm gonna go ahead and put some red one on these, like that. Yeah, le voy a poner un poquito de verde. Okay, nice. Perfect, oh, look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be good, they're gonna be good. And my dad does like some jalapenos. jalapenos. These are in vinegar, these have been in vinegar for a long time. I, I don't personally like vinegar taste as much, so I'm gonna skip on that one. But they should be ready to go. Maybe oh, if you yeah. do like, you can also add a little bit of salt, a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit, if you like. All right, Dad, are you ready to try this? Ready. And we do have a soda to go along with this. All right. Hey, you guys. Hi. Let's do it. Let's try it, Dad. Yes, got it Enchiladas. Uh -huh. Are you trying the cheese one or the potato? The alu. Ah, potato. Yeah, I tried the cheese one first. So so good. <laughs> My dad likes the, the jalapeno chilies. I, I don't like them. It's not that it's super spicy. It's just I don't like the vinegar taste of them. Mm. Oh my god. You had the, the cheese one or the potato? But do you know which one it is? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Estoy comiendo de alu. Mm, the alu one? Alu one and, and the cheese one. Oh. Yeah, so, oh, I'm about to try the alu one. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. The alu one. For sure, is my favorite. It has so much flavor. <clears throat> so, so carrots, good. Carrots, zanahoria. Oh, you like the... Mm. He, he likes the, the vinegar uh, uh, carrots as well. Oh my gosh. Dad, which one would you say is, is better? The the cheese ones or the alu, the potato ones? What would you say? <clears throat> me gusta las dos. Pero la que más me gusta es la de... The potato ones. I agree. I would have to say my favorite is also the alu ones as well. Those are delicious. If you ever get a chance to try them and you and you have to choose between the cheese and the potato one, I highly suggest you try the alu ones, the potato ones. Those are really, really good. And like my dad said, these are a very traditional dish in Mexico. 
you can find these anywhere pretty much any type of mexican restaurant usually has something that's similar to this or that's exactly like this if you're anywhere in the world and have not tried enchiladas you definitely have to try enchiladas as you saw my mom made it with a lot of love she makes it all from scratch and it's super delicious what do you give it out of 10. Esto le doy 10. No hay, no hay por qué discutir. 10 de 10. Oh, yeah. This 10 is out of 10. 10 out of 10. My, this is probably mm. one of my mom's uh, very oh. special dishes. Highly suggest trying enchiladas. Look at this. So mm -hmm. good. Mm. As you saw, we did share the process of actually making these. I will definitely put the recipe down in the description as well for you all to try. We're very happy to share with you all this recipe. I do plan on sharing more popular traditional Mexican recipes with all of my subscribers. Thank you all everybody for tuning in. This has been me and my dad, Humberto, and we will see you next time. Adios! Adios.